Cancer is a terrible disease that has stolen the lives of millions of people, and it continues to be amongst the leading causes of death throughout the world. For decades, researchers have conducted countless studies investigating the causes of cancer, as well as ways to treat this fatal disease and potentially prevent it from ever happening in the first place. Considering the scientific and technological advancements that have transformed other aspects of society, it's inevitable that people will question why a cure for cancer hasn't been discovered yet. And most importantly, will we ever cure cancer at all? We're passionate about ensuring our audiences understand relevant and important topics. So please, subscribe to this channel if you would like to remain informed. According to the World Health Organization, almost 1 in 6 deaths worldwide are attributed to cancer. Whilst it can sometimes seem that we have made relatively little progress, the reality is that we have made and continue to make medical advancements that would have been thought impossible even a few decades ago. The truth is that cancer is an incredibly complex branch of diseases, and even though significant breakthroughs and discoveries have revolutionized cancer treatment, there is still progress to be made. It is for this reason that pharmaceutical companies, medical institutions, and researchers continue to invest considerable amounts of resources into cancer research. At the moment, the most common cancer treatments are chemotherapy, tumor therapy, radiotherapy, and hormonal therapy. Whilst these treatments have certainly saved the lives of countless cancer patients, the truth is that they have unpleasant, painful, and exhausting side effects. What's more, there is definitely a need to develop new systems of treatment that will reduce morbidity rates and increase the chances of successful recovery even further. Novel treatments and therapies are being investigated and gradually introduced to mainstream practice, including immunotherapy, innovative vaccines, therapeutic viruses, nanoparticles, as well as tumor starvation, to name a few. It's important to understand that cancer isn't just a single disease with a single set of specific and characteristic symptoms. It's actually a term used to refer to a complex family of diseases. There are more than 200 different types of cancer, and each one presents itself and progresses in a way that distinguishes it as a unique disease. It is for this reason that each type of cancer and each cancer patient requires a particular treatment and therapy, and in this respect they can be regarded as separate diseases from one another. Of the 200 types of cancer, each one has numerous subtypes, and all of these will behave and present themselves differently from one another, because they are fundamentally different on a molecular and genetic level. This is because cancer happens when the cells in our body mutate, and every incidence of cancer is as unique an individual as we are, because it is essentially a mutation of our genetic and molecular materials. This means that the discovery of a cure which can be applied to all forms of cancer is something which is not necessarily possible in the foreseeable future. Since cancer is a general term for a series of diseases, we cannot realistically adapt an approach where we develop a solution for every single type of cancer. At the moment, some cancers are easily detected, and we have the technology and treatments required to cure them effectively, whilst there are other cancers which we understand relatively little about, and which are incredibly difficult to identify and then subsequently treat successfully. A viable alternative instead is to develop systematic strategies and methods in order to reduce the likelihood of someone developing cancer, such such as advanced screening methods for early identification, as well as personalized treatment plans which take into account the patient's symptoms, characteristics, and medical history. There is evidence that at least 30% of human cancers are caused by infections, whilst anywhere from 30 to 40% are also entirely preventable. This is a cause for considerable optimism because once we understand the root cause of certain types of cancer, then we can actively prevent it through treating these infections or encouraging lifestyle changes. There is the distinct possibility that we may never be able to cure cancer completely, but that doesn't mean that we can't be optimistic regarding the options that have become and are becoming available to us in the future. Ultimately, the question of whether we'll ever cure cancer is an open one that cannot be answered with any amount of certainty. What can be said, however, is that researchers are continually discovering groundbreaking insights and exciting evidence that will lead to the development of novel medicines, innovative vaccines, and lifestyle changes that will not only prevent, but also treat a greater number of cancers than we can at the moment. There is every possibility that in the future, we will be able to drastically reduce the incidence of cancers, lessen mortality rates, and improve the quality and quantity of life for patients and their families. We hope that you found this exploration as enlightening as we did, and if so, then please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more thought-provoking discussions.